Hello, hello. Thought I'd wait a second to start saying hi after. Last time, obviously, uh, did not realise I was kind of talking, like, whilst it was going. I mean, hopefully that's not happened this time. Maybe it's just YouTube taking a minute to, like, show it to you guys. But hello, Alyssa. Hello, May. Hello, Ziggy Zigzag. Hello, Casey. Hello, Kotzi. Hello, Frogflower. I hope you guys are all doing well. Uh, thank you all for joining me for the first stream mystery. I always said vlogmas because I've just been watching people's vlogmas vlogs, but first stream mystery stream. Hello, hello. Lady Queenie, hello. Leah, hello. Oh my goodness, I've been so excited for this. <laughs> Happy streamers indeed. Eric, also hello. Notification does take a minute, doesn't it? Scarter, also hello. Lovely to see you all. I just, um, if I look a bit flustered, it's because I am. I mean, what was I like? A minute late? No, not even a minute late. I, <laughs> I got everything set up and I sat down. And my hair is not looking its best today, but it looked worse a couple of minutes ago. So I was like, okay, I need to go sort this out before I, before I be on camera because I looked a little bit rough because it's uh, basically I've been napping on it today. <laughs> Disby Walshy, Draco, hello, Red Wolf, hello, Sarah Shaw, hello. First time catching a stream, welcome. Glad to finally catch one where you've come at a good time because we're starting something brand new today and uh, Streamus is upon us. So um, what I will say is obviously... For those who came to the last Trashy Merchant stream, I have a feeling I think we're going to end up finishing the Trashy Merchant next Wednesday. So until Streamless is over, what will eventually happen is once that is over, I will essentially add an extra one of these streams in its place until January. And then I think I've got some ideas for January, um, but after the Trashy Merchant. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Raffadax complete complete production mod but I've had that one kind of on my list of things I really wanted to do for a long time and I think it would be the perfect fit for a live stream series. Kai L hello, Emily Underwood hello, Jarella hello, Whiteheart hello, Dealey B hello, Sydney hello, Hillsome hello. Good to see you all. Now before we even start, um, <laughs> basically I was alerted to a notification on my throne. Bonk is busy. Hello, Peachy Sam. Hello. Anchor B. Hello. Uh, <laughs> so I got an email at some point in like the morning. I was half asleep. Didn't quite read it. The lovely Kotzi Day has kindly sent us something from the throne wish list. And what was hilarious is that during that stream in my head, I, I was like, I heard a sound. And I was thinking, huh, that sounds an awful like, an awful lot like the door knocking. And it was kind of quiet. But like nothing happened, so I thought, oh, it can't be the door, because like Michael hasn't got up. Turned out he was sleeping. So he, <laughs> he did not know either. And um I checked my email again, like for other things later, and I see like this has been delivered. I don't know what it is yet. So making sure there's nothing on here. We have something to open to start us off today. And I'm really excited to find out what it is because it has been put as like a surprise, so I don't know what's in here. So I'm just ripping through the top of the packaging now. And the reason I'm not showing you me doing that is because that's where the address label is. And um, you don't need to see that. <laughs> Willow, hello. Georgia, hello. Kaylee, hello. Have I missed anyone so far? Yes, it's a perfect way to start streamers, actually, to be fair. We were having very appropriate conversations during that stream about this gift too. That gives me no clues. I feel like we talked a lot in that stream. I'm excited. So, excuse all the paper noise. Okay, we got we got the paper sound out of the way. I'm gonna like take it out of the bag with not looking at it. Ooh, there's like a. Let me see if there's a, anything on here. No. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Paper asthma. <laughs> Zach, hello. Okay. Right. I don't know which way is the front. This feels like the back. I'm trying not to look at it until I hold it up. Okay, are we ready? We- oh, that's the back. <laughs> Ooh! Oh my god! The boba kit! <gasps> Thank you so much! I'm so excited. I haven't had um, a homemade bubble tea ever, so I'm really excited about this. Um, 
I will, until we have worked our way through all of these, I think I'm going to be starting each stream with a bubble tea. Obviously, I'll make it beforehand because I think they take some time to make, but I'll be coming onto the stream with bubble tea in hand, and I think that's going to be the uh, the perfect uh, stream companion drink. Thank you so much. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I really appreciate it. So many of you are crocheting. I love that. I actually get quite a lot of comments about that as well. Um, I did just see someone in the chat ask which map we are going with. Not quite sure what happened to the word map there as it came out of my mouth. Bear with me, I'm just going to do a last minute check on the poll. So, four corners farm is one. So we have got the beach farm out. So we got 4,447 votes, which is wild. Oh my goodness. Uh, the beach farm got 15%, the four corners farm got 39%, and then the wilderness farm got 22 and the riverland farm with 24 So, So um, bear in mind as well, going with the four corners farm, it's not that I'm never going to use the other farms. Eventually, I'm sure I'm going to work my way around to all of them. <laughs> Kaylee, hello. Tesla, hello. I love everyone doing their little, like, crafty bits. I really want to get back into... um. I once made a needle felted fox and I really want to get back into that kind of thing again because I really enjoy needle felting. I say I really enjoy it, I've only made one thing ever, but I really enjoyed when I did it because I feel like it's like, it's pretty satisfying. It, you're sad that the forest farm wasn't an option. The reason it wasn't an option is because I played on that farm for the City Witch series. So I thought, okay, well, YouTube's only going to let me pick four options. Let's exclude the one I've already done. Or the two that I've already done at some point. So that those are the, the other four of what remain. <laughs> is there a way to send you gifts or is that just because you know the person who sent it to you? Um, So they're linked in the description. It's something I don't really talk about often because it's kind of just like... I don't like to say a load about it. <laughs> but there is a link in the description for a throne wish list, which is essentially a platform where... Your privacy is protected, my privacy is protected because I, we, like, we don't see each other's details, but it's a way to do that safely without having to give out any personal information to the other person. It's just done through the platform, essentially. But also, it came really quickly because obviously I got the, oops, I got the email, which means I think it was like overnight and then it was, I mean, it was from Amazon, so it was like next day, but I've had other stuff from thrown in the past which has taken a lot longer to process and arrive so um i wasn't expecting it to come as quick as it did <laughs> um but no it's, it's a really cool platform needle felting is a great way to get anger out that's hilarious <laughs> but right i'm just gonna turn the music and stuff down just for literally a second i'm gonna go hit the like new What's it called? The new farm option. I'm going to change screen. The reason I've done that is because for some reason my Stardew is really loud when I start it up. Um, so I think I'm going to need help from my thumbnail to remember what options I went with because I want my farmer to look like what I've put in the thumbnail because I made it that way. I mean, I suppose it like vaguely looks like me, right? Um, so leave some options in the chat of what you think my farm name should be oh my god let me turn it up a tiny bit um i think the hair is like 40 something because i've used this hair a few times recently <laughs> yeah it is um sure i wish i wrote down the options or something but i'd love to hear farm names Cassie, thank you so much for being a member for four months as well thank you so much for continuing to be a cranberry um, yeah, I can't believe I've not done a vanilla playthrough before. Peachy Sam, thank you so much for gifting a membership. Kaylee, welcome to the Berry Basket. Enjoy your Krobus emotes and early access to videos. Which, speaking of, the, um, the newest One Life is up for members at the moment. Uh, right, hair colour. So what I do is obviously I have dark hair. I mean, it's a dark brown, but I want, like, I really want to be able to dye it like a, almost like a, not navy, but not, like, not blue, a, a cool toned black kind of colour, but this came out more like a brown, and that's okay. You finished the newest one life like 30 minutes before the stream. 
the Jolly Farm, the Jingle Bell Farm, Yule for the farm now, Mistletoe Farm. I'm seeing some really good uh, options here. Oh my goodness. Balsam pines, like the Christmas tree. Okay, that's adorable. That is so adorable. I do like the mistletoe farm. I like that option. Uh, I need to change my pants colour. Now, it's always a pain trying to colour match it to what is on here. I think it's a bit redder than this. I mean, that's pretty close. It's going to be close and not perfect. Four leaf clover farm, four corner farm for luck. You can't use prime. Um, I think it naturally does already. I don't know. I mean, like this came like next day. So, oh yes. And I also wanted to put in, I'm going to go with a poll of, first of all, the reason this is important to do now is because I've got to pick another option depending on what wins. So are we going to go with the Joja route or the community center? I need to decide this now so I can pick, uh, you know, if, if one of the options wins, I need another, I need another vote from you guys. Um, what else are we going to go with? The Dream Semper <laughs> That's so cute. The elf farm, I think that I've seen a few options for the mistletoe farm, so I think I'm going to put the mistletoe farm because it sounds really cute. Oh, let me also pick the four corners just so we've got that ready to go. Leah, oh my goodness, Leah gifting a membership. Who is going to get it? Oh, by the way, if you haven't got the option on for receiving gift memberships, make sure you turn that on. I think it's in when you go to click in to do a membership. I think there's an option there to turn on receiving gifted ones so if you haven't got the option on and you want to be able to potentially receive a membership make sure that's on as well scott welcome to the berry basket welcome welcome so what have we got so far let's have a look at the votes i mean the community center i, I was expecting it to be a landslide for the community center i'll be honest i mean obviously like jojo would be like quicker but the community center i mean the fun and the challenge right I appreciate all of you being here tonight. I had a feeling it would win. Okay. I think that is enough, even though I've only put the poll up not very long. I think I'm going to end it here because I don't see it swinging in the other direction. <laughs> I mean, 20 to 80% ish is going to be it's a pretty, pretty good one. Okay. So now next thing I need to ask you guys, and that's why this vote matters. Normal or remix bundles? So, normal, remixed. I wish you could do, like, I mean, I guess you can't, but, like, it would have been cool to do multiple polls at once. Because <laughs> we've also got another option here. Favourite thing. What am I going to put as my favourite thing? I'm going to put bubble tea. Because bubble tea is literally one of my favourite things. And then animal-wise, oh, I don't know what animal to do. So difficult. You can't vote either. Is it like I wonder if like refreshing might help that? I have no idea why that's happening. Got to make it harder, of course, of course. I mean, you guys picked a really kind farm option. You always put Stardew for the extra star drop. I forget about that. You get puppy. I'm trying to decide which one because even when you pick, I recently had most of these options i feel like what have i not used before i don't think i've used the normal dog before so i might go with that just because i haven't and for me this like screams vanilla i guess you wanted to do normal but it picked a remix instead youtube is out to get me <laughs> watch us get like poll for cat or dog i could but i've got one more poll to do after this and i don't want to like spend too long on this screen did I go for the normal dog in my artisan series? Normal is more vanilla. Uh, I mean, I suppose I haven't done this cat. I could go with this cat. I think that must be... If, I, if I've done the other one in my artisan series, I forget. Um, It'll be this cat. Refreshing it didn't let you vote. Maybe it's because you're a mover. That's so strange. 
Maybe it went in and it didn't tell you? I don't know. And I missed a membership here. Jarella, thank you so much for becoming a strawberry. Sorry, I was distracted. The ADHD is ADHDing. Thank you so much for becoming a strawberry. Welcome to the berry basket. Enjoy your chromosomes and thank you so much. <laughs> And how can you become a member? There is an option that should be somewhere near the description box, I believe. There should be a join button or there's a link in the description. You've been watching a, a lot of the series in close succession, so uh, that makes sense. So it's a bit more, bit more fresh on your mind. <laughs> okay, so 70-30 for remix bundles, of course, we're going with that. Right, let me go into the settings here. Um, I am going to hit the, oh, yeah, I will, I'll take the year one completable thing because obviously it's given us, like, unless I miss it happening at the community, at the uh, merchant, you know, a bit more, a bit more option right now. Mind rewards, mind rewards, normal or remixed. <laughs> YouTube, that does not add up to 100%. I know it's only like, it's by like decimals or whatever, right? But like, it's 99, where's the other 1%? <laughs> all the 1% are all the lost votes that couldn't happen. Is this for the chest in the mind? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. In my day so far, it's been pretty sleepy. I mean, we got, got some errands done and sorting some stuff around the house. So we had to go to the tip. And then after that, I literally just like had to snooze. <laughs> had to snooze. And then edited the rest of what I had to do for this week's One Life and a bit more scripting for the 100 days. I'm so excited to like look into more mods, but the Raphidax, I'm, I'm, I'm really like excited about. I'm hoping people also might think it's a good idea. I don't know, maybe I'll do a poll there as well. <gasps> Wolfie16, thank you so much for becoming a strawberry. Welcome to the berry basket. Enjoy the crow emote. Thank you so, so much. You got the femur on floor 10. I, I can't remember what I get like usually for remixed ones. I don't think I've had anything too mean. Are the remixed ones like completely random? I don't know how it works properly. <laughs> so many polls. This is great. So much clicky clicky. <laughs> I feel like there is a good percentage of you. Like, the, the votes seem pretty similar each time, so I feel like the same portion of people have been nice and the same portion of people have been mean. It can be good or horrible. Yeah, I'm excited to, like, potentially be mixed up. Do you think remix is overall better? I've had... I think I have had a remixed version that hasn't given me any form of decent boots before, which is so painful. You're so tempted to try out Archipelago. You can, so in the settings, I think you can um, adjust it to make it a bit easy. Not like, easy is the wrong word, but like less likely that you end up with a weird situation. <laughs> or like be stuck. Okay, so I think we're going with Remixed. And then I have one more question for you guys. Monsters on the farm or no? That is my last question for you, and then we'll actually make a start. Um, oh my goodness. Loud... Stardew menu. Loud Stardew menu. Ah, so far... Oh, hang on. This one's a little bit more even. I'm not sure which way this is going to go. A lot of you voting no, though. I'm surprised. So... Each level selects from a five to six item pool for what you get. Not completely random. That makes sense. That makes sense. You get enough monsters in the one life. This challenge is hard enough. Fair enough. Um, I should probably clarify as well. I don't know how obvious it was, but when I say obviously perfect, I mean, clearly it's not going to be perfection before Christmas in game because that would be literally impossible. You can't get all the recipes and stuff, but <laughs> obviously <laughs> Christmas real life. So our last, I can't remember what day of the week stuff falls on, but 
Essentially, Christmas Eve, I think, would be my last day. Yes, Christmas Eve would be my last day. <laughs> I, I appreciate, I appreciate the challenge. Oh no, this is almost even, that's hilarious. I'll give it another minute or so because... <laughs> this isn't a very... This, this one is the one that's not been very decisive. The ones with the slingshots may, remain in the same kind of makes sense. Yeah, it's one of those things you kind of need, right? You've been nice enough so far. Yeah, yeah, you've been so nice. The, the map has been nice. Everything else has been mean. <laughs> okay, so it's close. I'll give it like 10 more seconds. Oh no, don't make it 50. Please don't make it 50 50. It's getting closer. This is not. This is not okay. This is not okay. Okay, I'm ending it. I didn't have another vote for a good, like, 20 to 30 seconds. Where's the result? Hello? Okay, we're going with no. That uh, Does that count, though? That's not even a... That's not a majority. I mean, okay, we've got a lot of other mean options. Okay, we're going without. I'm going to skip the intro. We've all seen the intro before. Are we ready? Right. Name's done. Pet's done. Me is done. We've done all the options. Being the only one that is like... Not quite been a majority. I think I'm okay with it. Right. First things first. I need to sort out my zoom. There we go. I'm really specific about these things. I'm also really specific about the order in which I have my hotbar. Uh, that goes... Nope. That goes there. Am I weird for that? I think I'm weird for that. I'm okay with being weird. Four Corners Farm was chosen. Wait, this is a really cute starting house. A really cute starting house. Oh no, wait. I want to ask you guys one more thing. I'm used to using animation cancelling. <laughs> However, I've gone... I mean, technically it is vanilla, right? But... Are you going to allow me to use animation cancelling? <laughs> Are we doing chair skips? No. That is the one thing I will say. I don't want to do it. Your tool arrangement is the way that I order your tools you don't think is weird. I've got to- my pickaxe has to be in three. My weapon has to be in four in any game. The rest of it is Stardew specific. Does everyone else have their stuff in an order as well? So much space and you always get a living hat? We aren't that cruel. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Okay, I'll go with there. Thank you so much. Thank you for being nice. I will accept the uh, the gift from you all of animation cancelling. <laughs> right, let's clear some space. Just get these parsnips down as soon as possible. I also need to get a chest as well. But I like to prioritise where I can getting the parsnips down because um i oh i'm not very good at animation cancelling as well i should probably clarify that because you're all probably going to be looking at me like that's terrible but in my opinion i still feel faster than doing it without um and what was i gonna say yeah i tend to accidentally if i do anything else first use all of my energy on usually it's chopping trees so I'd rather not have that chance, you know? But let's do this. Let's do this. It's used in glitches. This is true. This is true. I have, embarrassingly, I have actually technically submitted a couple of speedruns, but they're not very speedy. <laughs> they're not good at all. I just did it for fun and the experience, you know? Watering can, hoe, axe, pickaxe, sword. They all kind of make sense. I mean, for me, so I use an MMO mouse. I use the, is this the version that comes off? Yeah, I use the um, Razer Naga Trinity and it's got, I should probably stop doing this now so I can buy more seeds. Okay, there we go. Um, it's got the 12 side buttons on and I just find it easier to get through my hotbar like that instead of having to scroll through. Does that make sense? At least I've submitted something. This is true. I am going to get rid of this one more tree. Am I going to regret this? Probably. Let's just hope there's loads of spring onions. Oh yeah, the stumps, I forgot. 
Well, these stumps I want to get rid of. There's a few that I do like to just not have. And I do accidentally waste energy every now and again with um, the animation cancelling, but you know, here we are. Uh, let's leave my axe and stuff behind because I don't need them when going to Pierre's. Uh, I'll leave that like that. It does, it makes it so much easier. So that that is one of the reasons why I tend to order my hotbar in the way that I do, because it's muscle memory that like, two is my hoe, three is my pickaxe, four is my what like, I put my scythe there until I've got a weapon. Once I've got a weapon, I replace it with that. See if we can get most people met as well. I don't really think, um, I'm going to be doing everything in the most optimal way, but I will be doing my best with what I currently know. I have one more. Uh, should I ask? That? Yeah, I'll ask. I'll ask you guys. This one I'll leave running for a little bit longer whilst I deal with the seeds and stuff. Tea saplings allowed. I didn't learn about tea saplings until a fair amount into playing Stardew in general. So do we do it that way or... I, I, I mean, I think they're great, but I know there are a lot of people out there who disagree. So I tend to end up doing one of each, like, vegetable, fruit, seed situation. We've got enough parsnips at home already. Um, have I done the... So I've got... Yeah. Okay. Should I do the other ones as well? Why not? I'll do a jazz. I will do the tulip... Oh, no, it's only 20. Um, the rest of my money... I do potatoes. I haven't got much money. Should I sell the daffodil? No, I will not sell the daffodil because I want to give it to Caroline. I'm going to give it to Caroline anyway whilst I'm still waiting. You, you've never done the Four Corners, but you want to too. I've always wanted to do a Four Corners one. I think the Four Corners farm is one of those ones that... I think I did briefly on the Switch years ago. Like, years ago. Caroline deserves daffodils. <laughs> One pound for the Maryland cookies. I, To be fair, I didn't buy them often enough to know that they were 60p. <laughs> okay, I mean, 80-20, I appreciate you all. So yeah, we will be allowing tea saplings. Now, do I go home first? No, I'm gonna... Yes, I am, actually. I'm gonna go home. Do I dump these in a chest? Yeah, I should dump these in a chest. And then I'm gonna go down to the... Uh, go down to the forage and... Forest and forage. We need... Some spring onions. You're sick? Oh, I hope you feel better soon. The vanilla dialogue for gifts feels so wrong. I need to start, like... I need to put together for myself, like, a base mod pack. Obviously not for this. This is, like, completely vanilla. Nothing, nothing of anything. But, like, a base mod pack that I start with. Or at least a list, so that when I do it, I can be up to date. And in that mod pack will be things like, obviously, UA and Vusui are our favourite. And I can't go this way. This is not the way. I can't. I don't know my way around this farm. Watch me get to the bottom and not be able to get out again. What was I even saying? <laughs> I... The train of thought has left the station. I... <laughs> I've missed it now. It's gone. You didn't get an advent calendar that all sold out in every shop. Oh, that's so annoying. The uh, like, I feel like getting an advent calendar. Oh yeah, I was talking about mod packs, wasn't I? Right, getting an advent calendar. I feel like it's such a fine balance, right? Because it's like, oh, I'll do it later. Oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later, and you do, you go one day too late, and it goes from well stocked to nothing. So we we got lucky this year. So I've got a Reese's peanut butter cup one, and Michael has a Kinder Bueno one. Um, yes, mod packs. So, like, my base mod pack, if I had to, like, pick stuff that would be in every playthrough, even if I was doing a vanilla one, but, like, you know, ones that don't change the gameplay, but, like, quality of lifey things, it would be things like a recolor mod. Usually I use Vibrant Pastoral Recolor, but I think I'm going to start looking for others because I'm getting bored of it now. Um, the, the Gift Taste one. No, not the Gift Taste. The Gift Dialogue. I love that one. I love that one so much. What else is there? Probably visible fish, fishing info overlays. I already said UI info suite, didn't I? Uh, to do. I need to do. 
And I would usually say NPC map locations, but I think I recently played without it and just used the one on UA Info Suite. And I don't know if I actually prefer using NPC map locations. I think it's a little better. Oh, also look up anything. The ground is so yellow. It is. It's so like bright compared to what I'm used to now. You started it on Switch and it was so jarring with no UI. I um now that I've played it on PC, I struggle with it on the Switch, I'll say that. I don't really touch my Switch copy ever because I've got this. <laughs> like as soon as I started playing this on keyboard and mouse, I was like, how have I been doing this before? I mean, to be fair, I think on the Switch my hours are only something like I mean it's far less than a hundred, put it that way. It's a it's a lot less. Right, I could. I think I'm going to save shipping a spring onion until later because it's kind of important that we have food. The reflections mod is really cool. But I don't, the reason I don't always like it is, um, is that the one that, and this is going to probably also sound silly. Oh, I can't see what I haven't shipped yet. Like just by hovering on stuff. Oh no. Oh, I need to get used to that. Um, the only thing I don't like is like the night reflections. So like, you know, when you're fishing and stuff, like you're just out at night and all you can see is the sky and you can't see what, like, you can't just see the water, which sounds silly now that I say it out loud, but I don't know how else to describe it. You have a thousand hours on the Switch. You don't have the PC version. I mean, that makes sense. If you don't, if you don't have the PC version and you've not played the PC version, it's like you don't really feel it, if that makes sense. But I am. Um, oh, that was a perfect amount of spots. Oh, that was really satisfying. Um, as soon, yeah, as soon as I started playing it with keyboard and mouse, I, I struggle without now. I really struggle. It's just not the same as being able to like point and click for me. I also have tried mobile and I didn't really get on with that either. Right, um, I'm leaving everything else here. We're going to go up through the backwards and forage and talk to people and introduce ourselves. You're getting a Steam Deck? Oh my god, I'm excited for you. You can still mod too. That is that is really good. Oh, also, I'm someone who also really likes mods, which is why I... I was going to say a thing. No, I know. This is why I've never ended up fully doing a vanilla playthrough <laughs> with no mods. Just like the game as it is because I did the same thing with Ark as well and it's not like the difference with I suppose this is I I don't not like the vanilla game I like the vanilla game but the um like an Ark for example I tried to play it and I couldn't get along with it at all um but as soon as I found mods I ended up putting in like 500 hours <laughs> onto that game good game He was going to surprise you, but wanted to make you hold it. Oh yeah, got to try to remember to look at the TV. This is very true. Why am I looking at my map? I just, it's so habitual. I just looked at my map to see where people are and I'm not going to know that now. I've got to know people's schedules. There are some people I am going to know. So that's, that's okay. Oh yeah, isn't modding like significantly harder on the Mac? Did used to have a Mac before. Well, I had a MacBook Air and I used it mainly for uni, but I did also do things like, um, what did I play on it? I mean, mainly Minecraft at the time. Even Minecraft, I used to mod a lot. Played it more modded than not modded. <laughs> there's Harvey. It's very large compared to the Switch. But I bet there's like, I mean, there's going to definitely be a lot of reasons that it has advantages over the Switch. The Switch is a great console. I play it every day. Literally every day. Um, but there are some things on the Switch that just run so poorly. And it's like upsetting. Don't go in your room. I need to talk to you. <laughs> Determined to meet as many people as I can today. I know I'm not going to get to everyone, but let's see how many I can get. You've added the ridge side mod. Oh my god, you won't regret it. 
It's so good. Oh, so you like, did you add it after being in the late game? It's about the same size as the Wii U controller. See, I never had a Wii U. That is the one of the ones that I ended up skipping. So I've had, ooh, our first artifact. Oh yeah, I can actually get into the museum. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't because it's, it's closed now, but <laughs> I'm so like, I got very not used to being able to get into the museum. You end up abandoning your non-modded playthrough in a few game days. It just, it, it does, I will say, it does feel weird not having them. Feels very weird not having them. <laughs> There's a daffodil up there. Not going out, uh, not going without the daffodil. Also not knowing, like, the second I level something up is really strange. Like, I don't know. Wait, does it show in my person? I've leveled up my foraging, so I suppose I could check my menu, but like, come on, you got to admit, like, if you've been using UA Info Suite, the like little thing that plays when you level up, the little level up animation thing, tune, tone, alert, going through all the words because I don't know which one's correct. Um, really satisfying. The characters don't look vanilla and it puts you up. That, I mean, that's understandable. I like, daff I like daffodils in real life as well. It makes me sad that some people in the game don't like them. You don't think you can go back to not using it? Yeah, watch me, like, as soon as I need to start placing sprinklers, watch me mess that up, like, so bad. I just went to check my map. I just, I need to not check the map. I don't have the map. My inventory's full. Let's go home. But yeah, the little, like, level up sound. <laughs> The ding is such a vital part of your gameplay. Honestly, it's a huge amount of satisfaction. It's a big deal. Should I plant these? I don't know, but I'm going to do it anyway. Right, we officially have... We have all of our forage now. One, two, three, four. Yes, we do, but I don't think we're even close to being able to craft the forage seeds. So maybe tomorrow will end up being a lot of tree chopping. Uh, I don't know why I'm putting that away because I'm going to need it and let's refill before we go to bed. Where's our nearest? Okay. I was about to get upset because I didn't know where the nearest water source was, but this is fine. You only use three mods. Which three mods do you use? You can't do the fishing, so amongst other things, you only play modded except in multiplayer. I don't, um, yeah, fish fishing, fishing, not my favorite. Whenever I've played multiplayer with Michael, Michael loves fishing. So he does all the fishing for me. <laughs> He's my fisherman. <laughs> Level one. Oh, we can do the wild seeds now. Okay, so we're going to be planting loads of forage. Yeah, I know. No sprinkly UI is very upsetting. All right, let me rearrange my house because I'm really particular about this. I need to be able to... Um, that's a bit of a fire risk, isn't it? I hate the fact that you can't center this to the fireplace or the table or the <laughs> this is so unsatisfying it's fine just yeah that's fine okay whatever right i'm looking at the tv just to get in the habit we know it's gonna rain what is the luck saying today not that it matters i mean we we're, we've got a good luck day you love the fishing in fay farm i can't remember it now someone likes vanilla fishing i know quite a few people who love the fishing Oh yeah, speaking of fishing, we got our rod today. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Right, let's do that. I guess we're gonna fish a bit today as well. No, I'm gonna prioritize like forage and tea saplings. Um, I've taken an extra daffodil out just because I want to be able to give one to Caroline again. Uh, Not me overthinking how to plant stuff. It really doesn't matter because we need to be thinking about the time that we have left, which is not a huge amount, let's be honest. I've got to really be getting through these days, getting these things done. So yeah, I think the animation cancelling, I appreciate you guys uh, saying, yeah, that's a, that's a thing that's okay. You like fishing more than you like combat? See, I like the combat a lot now. I watched a video yesterday that um, that happened to touch on the roguelite mod again, and I think I want to do it again because 
I missed it. I've I like I sort of forgot it existed for a while. Like most things, if it's not in front of me, I'll probably forget about it. Um, but now I'm like, uh, well, since that mod's come out, I've had a lot more time playing Stardew and dealing with the combat, especially with the one life challenge. So maybe I might be better now. You can rotate the rock, but I feel like it looks odd vertical. I don't know what it is. Shade, welcome in. You stumbled upon with a messed up Stardew and you thought it was a nice watch. Thank you so much. We got our first lost book. I've never cared about the lost books. I probably should read them at some point, but I don't like reading in general. Sorry about bashing the mic there. I was just, um, it's because I was trying not to spit my drink out laughing on the, uh, on Dish saying that they dropped the game after a few days after failing to catch a fish for half an hour. That's a mood. It's a real mood. Your parents have a farm together? That's so cute! That's adorable! I have played the Real Light mod. Um, I, I have one, I think, stream of it last year. Um, I struggled. But it was over a year ago now, so maybe things will be different. Maybe at some point... Shall I do it for... Okay, when we finish... I want to hear your thoughts. When I finish the... Trashy Merchant, maybe one of the streams on a Wednesday I could do one session with the roguelike mod? What, what would you guys think? Is that something you would want to see or do you want more of this instead? It would only be the one stream. Hello Willy! I'm so tempted to skip the cutscene. It's so difficult for me not to skip the cutscene. You'd love it? I might do it. I might do it been a while and i think it's had like i'm, I'm skipping it i think <laughs> i think it's had like updates and such since then so should we catch the fish now i should probably catch the fish right we'll catch a fish <gasps> there's a bubble spot hang on we're going to the bubble spot do one stream we'll do one stream i think that'd be fun <laughs> i <laughs> i'm like i feel like i'm gonna like regret saying this when i completely embarrass myself because <laughs> i did so bad i can't remember the furthest i got but it wasn't very far like i was seeing um you know at the time when everyone was playing it like how well everyone was doing and i was like oh i don't know how i'm gonna do how i'm gonna do this did i why did i walk away from the bubble spot what did i just do there but no i i, th I think that i think that could be fun so maybe we'll give it a go damn i just missed the perfect oh i'm not good at fishing i need this train i need the training rod I'm trying to decide if I should get the training rod or not. I don't know if I'm going to watch all of the cutscenes. Like some of the, some of the early ones that like, you know, we've all seen a lot of like the, um, the fishing rod one we just skipped, probably the opening of the community center and stuff. I mean, maybe we'll watch the one of the wizards because it's funny, <laughs> but like, oh, I need, I need, um, to decide as well who we are going to marry. I don't know who to marry. The only ones I'm going to say can we not are... I'm walking away because if I don't... If I don't go and give Caroline this daffodil now, I'm going to forget. Um, I married Shane and I married Alex and I don't want to marry them again. That is all I will say. Oh, we haven't met Jazz yet. Hello. Oh, also not Krobus as well because we've got Krobus in the Trashy Merchant. So I want to go with like... People who I've not before. So it would be... Our choices would be Abigail, Harvey, Leah, Sam, Emily, uh, Haley. Oh, we've got Maru as well, so not her. Elliot and Sebastian and Penny. Don't forget to like the stream, everyone. It helps a lot with the city algorithm. YouTube has. Thank you so much for being a cranberry for 19 months. 19. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, mate. I appreciate you and everything you do. Haley's always your wife. Oh, hi, Evelyn. <laughs> I was coming in to also meet George, but uh, please let me come in. She was really trying not to let me in the house there. You wish they were more special, especially after marriage. Is that like a mods for this there's definitely a marry robin mod i haven't actually did i talk to pierre yeah i did i did 
Right, let's go give Caroline a daffodil of the day. Here you go. And then I need to, like, remember that this is how I check the hearts instead of... Because that's another thing I do miss from UA Info Suite is obviously on UA Info Suite you can see, like, partial hearts. Abigail's got your vote. Oh no, I need to, um... I don't, see, I can't do a poll with that because I've got way too many options, so I'm just going to have to, like, go with whatever I see the most. So it's probably going to be... Oh, I haven't met Marnie yet. No, I have met Marnie. It'll probably be Leah, because I think I've seen the most of Leah. There's too many. Abigail is much more difficult to gift until fall. This is true. Caroline's horseradish line has a typo? Wait, what does she say? I've not, I've not seen this before. Who else have I not met? I'm looking at the map again. Stop it. I don't need to do this. So are we do wait, are we doing a like a yes no poll for Leah or are we just gonna should we just go with Leah? Cause I've not um I've already met everyone in here. <laughs> I mean, that is literally one of the funniest things ever, is the fact that you um you ended up beating my husband at getting a membership first, like racing for it. Just like one day difference. Now, what do I want to give? Do you want a daffodil? Do you like daffodils? Here you go. Bunker's busy. Hello. Welcome back. Is this Horus Reddish? Oh, no. Um, We are currently talking about who we might end up trying to date and marry. At the moment, I think Leah is going to be the one that we end up with. You're never going to be able to unsee it. Not gonna lie, that that dialogue lineman is not found in my memory. So like, the first time I see it, I'm probably gonna laugh. <laughs> but like, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Who who have I not married? So the only people I've married, actually, that list I suppose is expanded a bit. So we've been with Alex, Shane, Krobus as a roommate, and Maru. So that leaves literally everyone else. Harvey because coffee. I mean, I do love coffee. I do love coffee. I'm trying to work my way through everyone at the moment. But I think we'll end up with Leah. I just find it funny as well that we go, like, if we go with Leah, like, every other playthrough that I've, like, <laughs> I've talked about her, uh, the sculpture that she gives us. I hadn't noticed that memberships had been activated when I got tired about- Oh yeah, because I had to like do some things and then YouTube had to approve stuff and I didn't know. That that rings a bell. <laughs> that rings a bell. Harvey looks like Shawnee, do you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, and I'm here for it. Okay. Um, I'm trying to remember- Wait, who haven't I met? Let's have a look. Sebastian, Penny, Haley. Maru, Elliot, brain freeze. Okay, let's walk through town. Maybe we'll go given our first artifact because it's a bit of a boost in cash. I hear a lot of people go with Sebastian. You love Elliot's spouse events? You hate dealing with Vendor. Oh no. I hope the rest of your workday goes better. Is that it's it's um it is spelled a little differently, but I knew who you meant. Um the reason I'm going down here is because I expect that Henny is down here with the kids. Also, the museum is here. There she is. Hi Penny. Hello, I'm Penny. She's so sweet. It's about yeah. I didn't want to like stop and type. Hi Gunther. I see all of your wares have been stolen. Abysmal indeed. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Well, I'm about to change that. You don't see a lot of people going for Leah? See, I hear of a lot of people going for Leah, but I don't know if I see it often. 
not a reason I'm picking it, it's just like, just a thing I've noticed. Right, let's collect that. I'm also gonna stop the exclamation marks like jumping off the screen for me. Why did I accept this? I'm not gonna be able to get there in time. I think I just did it out of habit. That makes it, I appreciate it, Eric. <laughs> Elliot, hello, Elliot. Actually being outside because tomorrow he won't be. A mod that lets you marry Gus. I feel like his heart events would be interesting. I might have to look at that mod at some point because like I'm kind of curious. Maru! Hello! Aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Well, hello there. I have some security. Honestly. It's surprising, isn't it? Because the wizard like protects a lot of things, doesn't he? Why not the museum? Unless it was the wizard who did it. You sent a screenshot in the Discord. Oh my god, thank you. I need to see this. Waiting for Haley. I don't want to accidentally open the bin. No. Oh. I'm that new farm girl or whatever. All right, shut up. God. Who else are we missing? Sebastian. And that's it. The wizard doesn't really count. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to Sebastian now. He's my hardest to like meet for the first time. Actually, doesn't he come out in the evening to like smoke? Took you all the spring to find everyone to introduce yourself. So like, little like, sort of, not hack, little tip for that. If you get to the egg hunt and you haven't met everyone, egg hunt is the perfect time because they're all there. You also think, I think, yeah, that's the thing is like, Sam, I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know if I want to. Alex was pretty bland as an experience. I didn't, I didn't like, I was, yeah. Does anyone know if he's going to be out tonight? Fishing rod? The fishing rod isn't, isn't doing the fish. I've missed the bubble spot completely. Let's do better. Okay, there we go. We sparkled for sure. We know we hit it now. There we go. His 10 heart was a huge turn off. Ooh. I just want to, like, I want to be able to go for all of them at some point, just so I've, like, I can say that I have, or, like, I've experienced it for myself. But some I'm probably more excited about than others. What's our treasure? Oh, look, Sebastian. A geode, mixed seeds, and eight rice shoots. I mean, that is pretty good, isn't it? That, that, that's that's a pretty good, pretty good little win. There we go. How to win friends. Um... I'm going to ruin things. Okay, it's neutral. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I just wanted the 100 gold. I can always catch another chub. Nope, I need to... Oh no, that was okay. He's too emo for you to take seriously. I'm trying to mold... Okay, stop reading chat when you're trying to catch a fish. This is my problem. I think it's because like I can't like semi-multitask while actively catching a fish. You like the ones from Coral Island better than Stardew? I mean, it's like a whole new thing. I guess that's the thing is like... Things have come a lot further, I suppose, over time. I still haven't had a chance to properly get into Coral Island. And yeah, I feel like like there is a bit of a thing, isn't it? Like all the spouses are like a pretty young and similar age range, right? What's Coral Island? Coral Island is another sort of like farming life sim. Um, it's also got like some extra things like uh, scuba diving and stuff. But it's in the same sort of like genre. Can't remember Sam Sam's Ten Heart. I don't even know Sam's Ten Heart. I've like specifically avoided watching too much content on like the past dating of most of the vanilla characters because I don't want to essentially spoil it for myself. I want to like see it and experience it for the first time. 20 to 30, 30 being a stretch. Yeah. Oh no, because if I throw stuff now, it's going to end up in the sea, isn't it? 
I'll throw this. Okay, that's fine. Because what I'm going to do is walk over here, do that, eat that, and then go home. <laughs> it was on your wish list for ages and then you forgot about it. There's just, there's so many, like, new fun games that have come out this year, I feel like. It's so hard to keep up with them all. Like, honestly, the the people who make content, like, the, the one that springs to mind, like, first and foremost is, like, you know, Iona and Josh's Gaming Garden. They keep up with, like, the majority of releases. I'm like, how do you do this? You store all of that information, like, somewhere and you keep up, like, it's incredible how. You struggle to keep, uh, you think Emily's a little sus? Interesting. I've not heard that before. But like, honestly, until I did my first thing where I actually like, sort of wanted to hit perfection. So like the expanded run is the first time I'd really even thought about dating and marrying. Like I only found out then that I had to do that to get to perfection. Um. Otherwise I wouldn't. And I guess like, obviously, you know, with me being Demi, it's just not something I naturally think about. Oh no, not the, not the fishing thing. I just remember, yeah, see, my fishing rod's in the wrong slot. <laughs> and now I've just ended up trying to like, scythe weeds with a fishing rod. How do you get us to hallucinate whilst dancing? I mean, you have a point. You have a point. Let's get this rice planted. And I'm worried that this wood is going to encroach on the rice, but that's fine. Well, that's a that's a tomorrow problem. It's so dark. Give me a glow ring. Um, do I want to sell any of these fish at the moment? We'll do a bit of that, I think. I also really like Emily's dance song. Like, I really like that song. Level one fishing. I'm actually surprised we were level one fishing on the first day we could fish. First for me. <laughs> Collective brain cells. I love it. I love it. Iona isn't even on the front of the curve either. There's just... Oh, go away, Crow. Go away. Um, I just like... Yeah, I really enjoy like when I see the kind of like lists of games. Why did I get my watering can out? Um, and I'm just looking at it like how? Like there was a point where like I kind of thought like, oh, maybe I should also do that. But that's just... It's not me. I'm never going to be able to keep up with all that stuff. Most people go for shit. Yeah, I've heard a lot of like, Shane is probably one of the easiest because he's got a birthday before the flower dance, right? Um, the only problem is, I've already married Shane and I, I don't want to do it again. <laughs> Rip, wait, it was the green bean. <gasps> You're right. I wouldn't have, oh my God, thank you for alerting me to which crop that was because I would have just literally not even thought about that. I don't particularly want to go and buy one from Jojo. Maybe I should because Jojo's like not, banned in you know I'm, I'm used to like all right well if i'm doing whichever route i'm doing if i'm doing the jojo route i'll buy from jojo if i'm doing community center i'll only buy from pierre and i need to like stop that because why why am i why am i doing this i can i can go to the jojo mart i can go and buy the damn green bean back Sandwiches. Oh, I get you. I get you. <laughs> Finishing each other's sandwiches. Wait, they don't open for a while, right? You wish you could befriend the crew. How cool would it be if they like... You could teach them to go and fetch other people's crops for you? <laughs> Longest you've played a save is two years in game. I mean, it's one of the... You don't have to reach perfection. Ooh, three cart. That's nice and easy don't have to reach perfection at the end of the day like it's one of those things that I enjoy doing it but like I I will always be the person who sort of reinsures 
another player that if you don't hit perfection, you're not bad at the game, you just haven't chosen to do that thing. That's all. And that's okay. They could bring you artifacts, how cool would that be? Or just like a magpie. Makes me think of magpies. Who we also find pretty cute. I just like birds in general. Just like get them to bring you things. <laughs> bring you gifts. Just walk along with a dialogue line like, Some bird stole my... Mind is blanked as to what item... Insert item name here. <laughs> How funny would that be? Just drops you some like mixed seeds or a food stuff and they have a chance to bring you something the next day where it improves your- Oh, that's cute. Yeah, you have to like feed it and stuff like, and the better friendship you have with the bird, the better stuff they bring you. Yeah, imagine like birds that- <laughs> Hey, if anyone makes mods out there, <laughs> that could be a fun one. I just waited there. It's so weird as well, like obviously having played a, f you know, it started to expand it a good few times, it's so weird not being able to talk to this person and it not being i mean maybe it is still claire and we just can't be friends with her i mean i guess the vanilla version of stardew has a strict like no checkout staff socializing mod is pretty please <laughs> that would be awesome though wouldn't it some birds stole my bill last night <laughs> can you imagine just like that bird is built if we can carry a mug of beer. An absolute army. And then like after that, you've trained your army of crows and then you get married. And whatever your spouse is honestly hasn't been to your farm yet, right? Ever. And they just arrive to move in. They're like, but what's with all the crows? That's a lot of crows. There's so many crows. Why are there so many crows here? Why are they not eating your crops? Why are they staring at me? <laughs> There we go. We've replaced the green bean. <laughs> They've all just like flown in with like stolen items as well. <laughs> Amazing. Right, should I maybe try and fast forward us getting the furnace? Because isn't one of these a quarry? This is the one with the stump, right? I think I've played I have played this like once oh I've got a full inventory. Um once to like I think it was on multiplayer. <laughs> and I keep it doesn't help I keep breaking random rocks as well for my energy or my uh inventory or anything. Um let's leave those there. Damn right, thank you. <laughs> no one saw that. I wasn't just checking my left and right. Definitely was not having to consult an L shape on my hand to know my left and right. Did not happen. You have no evidence. Oh, artifact spots. Crow heart events. Oh my god. Oh my god. At this point, it'll be like we've got like a full on crow NPC design going on here. Is there one that exists? Your favorite part is getting the golden clock. I do also enjoy the feeling of getting the golden clock. Oh, your least favorite part. I, I misread that. I mean, it is painful, but I actually enjoy getting the golden clock. Oh, look, geode cutscene. You find a nest that fell on the ground and that's how you start befriending them. You like growing them from a baby burb. Because if so, adorable. Got a good few more mix seeds going on as well, which is nice. I haven't really got a thought as to like which part of my farm I want to do for what. I'll probably have one quadrant purely for animals and then the rest of it will be like actual farmland because I did watch from a video. I think this is also actually from Shawnee that was literally like obviously you can fill your whole farm with like keg sheds but then you can put kegs a lot of other places on the map so like no need to waste space that can be used for crops right? Use the handshake method? Oh, as in like what 
is it like what hand you do you use to shake if you were shaking hands with someone that sentence came out very like jumbled but i think you know what i mean right so tall and stuff chest this is going to be my mining chest this is going to be my initial fishing chest I always have an order. Do you guys have like an order of like when you first start making chests? A priority of like what you make. Uh, geode, anything else that's like miney? No. Because after this, it'll be like forage and crop chest. And then eventually it will separate into a separate forage and a separate crop chest. And then separate again from there. Right hand for the handshake. That makes sense. I feel like sometimes I forget though and like offer the wrong hand so I have to use the one where like you look for the L <laughs> and the one that makes the L is the left hand. L for left. I suppose that only really works in languages where like the word for left in that language also begins with L. I'm trying to do it carefully to not exhaust myself. Crows but they give you cool hats. Imagine just like a crow coming along with um the living hat one day. Oh, I can make field snacks now, right? So let's have a look. What have I got in terms of seeds? Not enough, really. I need to start letting them spread. Imagine being able to sell hats to the hat mouse, though. That, that, is, a, that is a good little idea there. Two fish, fruit, veg, forage, seed slash animal, mining, combat, quest. Ooh, eventually I do, yeah, I end up with a with a monster drop chest. Crows are a later game item, you just have to go to the witch's swamp to befriend- <gasps> That's awesome! Yeah, imagining befriending the hat mouse too. There's so many like, fun little ideas. See, that's what I love about Stardew, I just realised there's a halibut in here that doesn't belong. Um, I feel like there's a lot of things where like, possibilities are pretty endless into what you could actually do with the game. I forgot to check this as well after I, uh, I mean, it's been a long time now, but I forgot to check after I made the farm because obviously loud menu noises. Can you even hear the music? Or is it like way too quiet now? Because I can turn it up. Because I, I can obviously hear it well, but what you hear is different to what I hear. Not me saying, oh, I need more maple seeds and just not cutting down a maple tree. Barely. Hopefully that's a little bit better. I don't want it to be like obviously too loud. You can like have one move in, that's pretty cool. Or like it's a pet. Is that good? Are you the only person that plays with no sound? No sound at all? I play with no in-game music because obviously I have to like you know, when I do a video, for example, I put I have to put my own music over it so it's not all jumpy. And then obviously in the game, I feel like the music is kind of there for sometimes and there for not. So I like to play the music separately. So we have a little bit of uh, control and continuousness, you know. Uh... I'm not going to make the field snacks yet, we'll wait. I don't know if I should be cutting down every tree. I don't... There's so, I feel like there's so many ways to do things. So bear in mind, I have, in general, watched the odd perfection stream run, uh, speed run video, but I haven't fully paid attention to like the strategies. So like, not necessarily going to do things the way other people do them. Um, so sometimes I get frazzled of like, oh, what should I like, which one of these things should I prioritize next? And just like chopping trees sometimes. I mean, I guess it's good for the foraging level. We still got to do that at some point, right? Um, then I think tomorrow I'm going to make sure I get out and buy some more things. I'm going to save my energy for the rest of the day. Actually, what are we looking at? 30. I can probably get away with doing one more tree and just clearing up some other debris. Uh, We'll do the tree first. Where are we at now? 11. 
So just enough for a few bits of debris. Four. Using up most of the energy. There we go, that'll do. A dress? That'd be so cool. You don't have to listen to the speech bubble sound. There's Clint. Hi, Clint. I um, I'm, I'm ready for the recipe. Someone, that a parsnip's been snatched. No, Clint, get off my doorstep. I need to inspect the stolen crop. Rip. It would be cool if the um, NPCs interacted with you more. Like some slight, like sort of, with you know, not the cutscenes of them turning up at the doorstep, but like the ones where like if you're walking past them. And it would have to be an option that you have on and off, right? But if you're walking past them and they stop to say hi to you, or just like I suppose a bubble could come up or whatever, right? And then you could opt to stop and talk to them or ignore them. That could be cute. Smell of mushroom. I love that song. Wednesday is the rerun for Queen of Source. Yes, I think you're right. You've watched a full speedrun within two hours because they've altered their chances of things to happen, but they can consider it speedrunning. I think it's like... It's like a seeded one, right? Or something? I'm gonna leave my fishing rod here because I think I want to go and buy the bamboo pole. Craft a furnace. I don't think I can yet. I don't think I've got anywhere even close to enough. 20 copper. Okay, we're quite a long way away. Quite a long way away. Sunday is the day for the recipe to come out, like, for the first time. Do the market- wait, hang on. Like the Grange display, but people can buy your food from you. Isn't that the market day mod? The Daughter Sister speedruns are so fun to watch. Clint, I can't really help you, but I'm still going to accept it. <laughs> Just in case. Can't help myself. I'm trying to think what my favourite um, thing is. Oh, that, that reminds me as well. Um, so Spotify Wrapped. All of my Spotify Wrapped is like... The stuff that I've had is like stream beats. <laughs> um, demon gummies and... Concern date for the Stardew soundtrack. <laughs> and... Uh, On, so my husband listens to Spotify on his uh, PlayStation like quite a lot. Forgot that his account, my, my account was logged into his PlayStation for like a good while. His music tastes very, very different to this. So he listens to a lot of like um, UK like hip hop rap type situations. Not, not my kind of thing. And... You just hear like if you've looked at your spotify raps and with the sound on how it like plays some of the songs in the background so the first thing i do when i open my spotify wrapped wild horse radish jam <laughs> and then the next one is this like completely wildly different other song that i had no idea what it was oh my god busted busted and spice girls amazing good night nina thank you so much for stopping by I haven't tried market day either. I don't know why I haven't. Why am I here? Potatoes. I think I'm going to get potatoes. Yeah. I enjoy planting a potato. We're going to plant more potatoes. You listen to heavy metal while doing schoolwork? I wasn't much of a metal person personally. But I don't really like, in all honesty, I don't really tend to listen to much, like, music outside of stream, really, anymore. You had Concern Date third, most listened two years ago. Uh, yeah, so Concern Date for me was second, and I got the little clip of um, him saying thank you as part of my Spotify wrapped, which was kind of adorable. This planting is very chaotic, but we've just got to trust the process a bit here. 
Eventually it'll be all organized and stuff, but now is not the time for that. When did I get a mussel, uh, an oyster? Did I pick it off the beach? I don't remember anymore. Oh, this is a fish, technically. There's the mussel. Let's get organized. You'll be pleased to know that I will be not not I will not be clay farming because I'm terrible at it. You guys will know this. If you've watched the messed up Stardew video. You were surprised that the Stardew soundtrack was amongst your top five on Spotify Wrapped. I feel like I'm kind of surprised at that too, actually. Because also with the music as well. Um, our car is so old that we don't we don't have like we don't have CarPlay, doesn't doesn't have anywhere to plug a phone in. It's so odd. We just have like the radio. It's got a CD slot, I suppose. I could. I don't have any way to. I don't have any CDs at the moment. <laughs> so that's sort of our only like personalized music option. Um, I'm gonna. No, I'm not because I don't have enough money. Right, let's. I'm gonna grab a couple of fish. I can't remember how much anything's worth. Unless. Right, here's what I'm going to do. No, maybe we'll do it tomorrow. Okay, so today I'm going to go and get some more spring onions. Random rogue piece of wood. And then tomorrow I'm going to go buy the training rod because screw you using the normal one. <laughs> Minikyo, hello, welcome in. Been to the video since then, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you got a newborn, congratulations. Massive congratulations, I imagine you must be exhausted, but I appreciate you've been enjoying the content as well. Mario Kart 8, yes. Good game, good game. I used to be great at Mario Kart. Mario Kart Wii was my first uh, Mario Kart. No spring onions? I'm offended. What kind of excuse of a spring do you call this? I'll take the dandelion, I suppose. I was hoping to use them to like, clear more farm space essentially. I'm gonna, I also need to check that little corner. Cause don't we have like, there's a version that takes a bit from the forest farm, right? Oh, hello Leah. I don't know if you like dandelions and I kind of don't want to risk it. I will not give you a dandelion. Should I try giving her a dandelion? Does anyone know if Leah likes dandelions or does she like... Is she at least neutral about them? Before I am. Um, before we ruin our friendship. The spring onions are just invisible. I haven't got the eyes for them. Here you go. A really nice gift. Okay, she actually likes them. I appreciate this. Played Mario Kart with your brothers all the time. We now know it's, it's one of those ones that's like dandelions are very hit and miss she likes most for forageables this makes sense this makes sense right so need that and that i am gonna i think the one down here is it this one that has the stump sometimes there's extra forage on there right she even likes the horseradish I'm not a horseradish person in real life, I will say. It's not this one, is it? Oh no, wait, hang on, because this one does have the mixied thingy my bobs. Look. Win. I thought it was in the bottom corner though. Am I being dumb? Or is it just not on this one? It might be on a different one. Oh no, it is there. I'm being <laughs> Ignore me. Ignore me. That didn't just happen. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. The good old goat's cheese. I'm going to have to have an entire barn full of goats just for Leah, aren't I? Salads is probably the one that I tend to opt for the most. For sure. Oh my god, the Super Nintendo. I used to love that console. Salmon berries is a nice easy one as well. Salmon berries and blackberries. So yeah, I did say like, oh, tomorrow I'm going to go get the training rod. However, I need to actually sell things to do that. So maybe... I think one single horseradish, that's sad. Maybe we'll go with a few 
fish that are like easy. Oh, I need to go catch carp for Willy. We'll go do that. Wait, is that due? It's due today. And he will go to the saloon, won't he? So I can go and give it to him then. Uh, I don't need to bring my pickaxe for this. I bring my hoe everywhere. Why am I bringing my watering can? I bring my hoe everywhere because of artifact spots. Do I like candles? I love candles. Wine. See, the wine's a difficult one for me because like I make it to, they take a week to make and I make it to sell. So I never really want to gift it unless it's like the only other option. But salad, salad is the one that I tend to go for. Or like truffles, right? Truffles are another one that she loves. And once you have pigs, she's going to be sick of goat's cheese by the end of this playthrough. The freshest of goat's cheese. Made right on her home once we get married. Oh no, let's not fish there with the freaking <laughs> hammering. No, thank you. Absolutely not. Jellies? Ooh, that's a good one. Mahogany sandalwood, that sounds lovely. I'm someone who usually tends to go with like... When I go for candles, I usually go for like fruity scents. So like berries and such. Comfy Frog, hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for being a new subscriber. I appreciate it very, very much. If I was a Stardew NPC, what would be my most favorite and least favorite gifts? See, I used to, when I when it was the least favorite gifts, I always used to very quickly, without even thinking about it, devote to um, mushrooms, because I used to hate mushrooms. I hate mushrooms a lot less now. They'd probably be neutral for me. <laughs> um... I'm trying to think of like most favorite gifts. I feel like I'm gonna, I mean, coffee and triple shot espresso. <laughs> That'd be up there. I'm marrying Leah. Coffee and triple shot espresso, that, that is, that, there's no doubt about that. Both of them. Both of them, anything. I mean, even green tea. Green tea's up there too. The only thing I will say is in real life, when it comes to tea and coffee and stuff, I usually go for like iced tea and coffee. <laughs> Congrats, me up on like, oh no. Shh, you can't hear me, right? You can't hear me. Ooh, eggs. Eggs are eggs are incredible. Eggs are incredible. Okay, the one thing we will do, maybe, hopefully if we have time, what I would like to do at the end of this run is what we have been doing is, other than it messed up Stardew, what is Stardew? <laughs> it messed up Stardew. The thing that has been sort of tradition in most other, oh, Iridium quality carb, uh, most other playthroughs is getting a golden chicken and calling it Michael. So that is Michael's spot on the farm. Did I just miss another fish? Stare at it, stare at it hard. Duck feathers also cute. Flowers and tea, yes. But yeah, no, I, I'm someone who prefers like cold slash iced coffee. Um, so like obviously when when iced coffee is an option, I get that. But my most recent thing has been <laughs> we went to a Christmas market the other day, and um, I I asked the stand, I was like, "Do you have any iced coffee?" And they were like, "No." Sorry, we don't have ice. I was like, oh, um, okay, can I just get a latte then? And But like, is it okay to not have it as hot? Because like, when it comes to sensory issues for me, hot temperatures are one of them, which is why summer is a literal personal nightmare for me. Oh no. Um, Right, we'll do the same thing we did the other time. No, it fell in the water. Okay, eat spring onions. But they were like, if you want, we can just put it with cold milk. And when she handed it to me after making it with cold milk, she was like, I don't know how good it's going to taste, but here you go. And I was like, oh, you know, it, it's fine because um, it's just nice coffee without the ice. It's only a few degrees warmer in it. <laughs> Stardew or Animal Crossing? Personally, Stardew, I think it's mainly because of like being able to mod it in a lot of ways. And Animal Crossing for me, I tend to like 
get into it and then get like over overwhelmed is the wrong word but kind of overwhelmed animal crossing is great though i really want to play new leaf one day because that is one that i did not play like i do love animal crossing and i have played quite a lot of it i've got so many varieties of chub i don't really want to eat all of my um should i just eat the silver chub I'm just trying to make like a bit of room because I'm worried about throwing stuff in the water again. Wholesome but grindy. It is. It, yeah. Definitely. You prefer tea to coffee, but you like hot chocolate more than tea. Don't forget to give the cup. I don't think I've caught enough yet. Hang on. Oh, now I have. There we go. <laughs> there it is. I probably should talk to Sebastian whilst I'm here, right? Get those friendship points. I'd probably be pretty chaotic as well. Imagine if like, I mean, I don't know if any of you were all like this, but like, oh, there's, I'll have to get these daffodils tomorrow. The, the liked and loved and stuff gifts, sometimes that changes for me. So like, obviously with mu mu mushrooms for me moving up the rankings, I'm trying to think if there's anything that I didn't like or that I did like that I don't like. I suppose when it comes to food, like, you know when some- Oh, I've just walked past the saloon. The day that something is texturally off and you can never eat it again. <laughs> just imagine, like, someone's been bringing you this dish and something's gone wrong, like, once. Willie's not here yet. Is he ever gonna be here? Have I- Oh no, have I missed my opportunity now? Or is he just not here yet? He's probably- I've probably missed him, haven't I? Just- just walking down here to have a look. I've probably missed it. <gasps> no! <laughs> Can anyone see that? Aged salmon row and no other kinds of row. Yeah, just having like a really oddly specific <laughs> gift date. That is so painful. I just assumed that he was going to be in the saloon. If I just carried on that's hilarious. I was like, oh no, walk past the saloon and I went back. If I just carried on going, I would have made it. <laughs> this is why you need NPC map markets. Yeah, I struggle. I, I am clearly I'm struggling without them. Oh no, you definitely had like expired Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> that's rough. I don't think I've ever seen like expired ice cream in a shop. Right, so I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sell those. I want to kind of keep a lot of my fish because like, I need to keep some for the community center. Let's have a look what's going on in here. I mean, three chubs is probably a bit excessive. We can soon make more seeds, but I think I'm gonna wait. Oh, I just, <laughs> I've been relying so much on hovering over my crops to find out when they're done. And I don't know now. I was just like, oh yeah, I'll just wait until these ones are done and I went to check how long it'll be. Level 2 foraging. No fishing level, I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go get a um, training rod today. Never step out your <laughs> Understandable. I mean, sometimes I need to like, you know, run to the store for groceries. That'd be like your opportunity. Parsnips! Woohoo! We like parsnips. Actually, I don't like parsnips. Don't ever give me a parsnip. <laughs> Hey, the mines are open today and this is about the house expansions right parsnips i think i'm gonna go with a eat half sell half friday today forage takes a week to grow doesn't it I don't think I'm going to get tea saplings in time for the egg hunt, so I probably shouldn't worry about that. So we'll go and get, we'll go and get the training rod. Do I do it today or do I do it another day? I'll probably do it another day. I don't want to do it today. I kind of want to go to the mines today. I haven't got much in the way of food though, that's the problem. All right, watering first. Oh wait, I can craft a... No, I can't craft a scarecrow. That'll be tomorrow, won't it? 
I would love to, but I'm not, um, I haven't got the farming. I think I need level one farming for that and I haven't got it yet. <laughs> Does not apply till tonight. If I, would I have got level one farming from that? I don't know. You, you wish you could keep the log stash on the side of the house. That would have been really cool. Actually, I've only just like clocked onto what it looks like on the starter house now. I've never really paid attention to it. <sighs> right, I'll make one more field snack because why not? And then should we just like go for it for the mines? I don't, I don't really have enough energy, but I don't want to. I'll bring a couple of parsnips. Just a couple. Or maybe I could actually fill up my energy before I go in as well for extra slots. Gotta check the menu to see. Oh yes, thank you for reminding me. Farming one, yes. Okay, so overnight we'll be getting the scarecrow recipe. I gotta get the training rod. I will get the training rod. I've decided I'm not doing it today. Because I want to go to the mines. The mines is open. And I really like the mines. Oh, I need a chest. Hang on. <laughs> Chaotic. Chaotic. The amount of, like, ADHD tax we're going to pay in terms of time of me forgetting stuff and having to go back for it is unreal. <laughs> your cat is laying on your arms. You can barely type it. It's so cute. That is adorable. That is adorable. I do love me some trash bread. This is what no to do would do would do to you. See, the thing is with the chest and the mines thing, I probably would have forgotten to even put it on the list in the first place. <laughs> That's the thing is like, there's a lot of people out there. And if you have ADHD, you will have experienced this. They're just like, just make a list. What do you mean? And it's like half the time you don't remember to put the thing on the list. And the other half the time you don't remember to look at the list. Hi, Marlon. I am. Um, I would, I will take that sword, please. Right, there. That's going there. Stupid rusty sword. And in the chest, I'm going to shove these forageables in because I don't want to take up the space with it. And when I do mines, I always zoom all the way out. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, that might work for your brain. It does not work for ours. I mean, it, you know, it partially works. It does help. Like, I have to do the reminders. And <laughs> what was funny is like... <laughs> The first assessment I ever had for it, they were literally like, um, you know, would you consider yourself disorganized and stuff? And I was like, oh, no, you know, I like I have my like reminders and schedules and lists and oh, getting slimed right away. That is not what I want. And they were like, right. Um, would you say that you like, you know, rely on these like completely and heavily and stuff like, you know, can you pretty much only do stuff if you have those things? And I was like, yeah, I suppose I'd say so. And they're like, OK. <laughs> essentially yeah they were like you know you, you're heavily relying on things that would accommodate that thing that you struggle with so <laughs> guess that makes sense okay carrot Ooh, retaining soil i never know how to feel about the retaining soil i suppose it's worth putting down right it's like a chance for things to go go away i didn't even look at the luck today i was just too excited to go into the mines yeah, I think I'm just like, that's something that I was talking to my, um, like any, my, uh, ADHD nurse about. And I was like, well, the, on the only thing that I haven't really noticed that's different with, like, since having treatment for it is I'm still very forgetful and stuff. And she was like, it could just be that that is just one of those things for you. And I was like, great. Okay. <laughs> lovely. That's exactly the news I was hoping for. I mean, that's fine. It's one of the, you know, it's just one of those things. Right, sap, go away. I need one more floor so I can put this stuff in the chest. The loot goblin is upset that I have to keep throwing stuff out. Works for me. <laughs> Retaining soil is the saving grace of your beach farm. That makes a lot of sense. Good early game. Yeah, that's true. Late game, the one with 100% watering. I think that is the one that I've used the most when it comes to I think the two things I'll keep are the rocks and the um copper because I'm gonna get more of them anyway
Ow. Uh, any other monsters? Nope. Because as far as I'm aware, getting rid of the monsters actually increases the chance of the ladders actually appearing by a very small percentage, but it's still a percentage. Oh no, there's a crab. Oh yeah, I think I read a comment not long before the stream saying about the crabs not having shadows. That's a very good tip. I hope I notice it. <laughs> Write down the symptoms but you forget into Yeah, it is it's diff it is difficult to like remember. <laughs> it's it, it's fun because like I also I also do have anxiety. They're a very fun mix. Very fun mix to have. You first I thought so. I thought so. It was just um Yeah, like I, I, that does make sense about them not having shadows, but I feel like it's so subtle, especially when you're zoomed all the way out. Didn't think I would have seen before stream. I can't remember if I've like been through and because basically what I do is like sometimes I'll see the notification. I often get notifications to tell me I've got a comment and a lot of the time I just like pick up my phone and like look at them. But what I would tend to do is like go through and do like properly look at all the comments at once so I can like either heart them and or respond to them. Saying goodnight because you've got an early night. You have to get up early tomorrow and you barely slept last night. Oh, I hope tonight is better for you. That's rough and um, I hope you manage to uh, feel a little better tomorrow. Good night, mate. Thank you so much again for continuing to be a cranberry and just being an incredible mod. Appreciate you very much. Sleep well. There we go. I don't know if I've got all the copper in this floor, however. Should I, I probably should look, right? Don't be lazy, just do the thing. Not that it's always laziness, it's just in this case it was laziness. The normal rock crab and false magma cap both have a shadow different from their resource counterparts. I would struggle to see that and differentiate it. I feel like I need to like stare at every rock now. Sleep is 100% valuable, I agree. That's why the the nap was required today. I just woke up like I had a really good night's sleep last night, but the nature of chronic fatigue is sometimes you wake up feeling extremely groggy and it will only be fixed by more rest. So that is what I did. Using the stream to put away laundry and get stuff done. I think like I, I, I would say I do that with laundry, but like I feel like my laundry loads are our machines are very big, so I never have that much to like do and put away. Oh my goodness. Give me all of that copper. Look at it all. Yes, please. Oh, a cave carrot. I kind of want that. Um, I think for now I'm going to get rid of the slime. It's kind of like, I think I read like, or oh, did someone say it as a comment or a, in a stream about it being kind of like a form of body doubling in a way, even if you're not doing the same thing necessarily. It's just like someone being there or whatever. Uh... Gosh, this is a difficult thing of like, I don't know what I want to get rid of. I'm going to have to keep going with the cave carrot, but I think eventually I am going to need it for the community center, so I probably should stop doing that. It's so much copper. I'm so impressed. Doing your planner for next week. Love it. I use um like a calendary time blocking app to help me. And most of the time it's not even to like... Oh, I'll come back for this because... Let me put all the stuff away. There we go. Oh, we can make our first um, furnace. Let's get our first... Oh, I would say let's get our first thing smelt. We haven't got a single piece of coal today. Hello? All right, well. Started with no bonds indeed. Boots. I'll take some boots. When you wait, get more than enough and wake up tired, it's, it's annoying. But sometimes it's just kind of like things catching up with you. A single night of sleep isn't necessarily going to fix everything is the problem. Certainly for me, at least. But sometimes it's like for no reason. Just the nature of my body. First, randomize my night. I mean, the, I feel like the leather boots are not that random. <laughs> I feel like I got the very ordinary <laughs> roll of that pool, didn't I? All right, let's try and get rid of this. 
Oh my god, the amount of hits that I just took. You wanna play Stardew now? Do it. Do it. But yeah, oh yeah, I was saying about like the body double thing. I think the thing I'd been using it most recently for is um So when I wasn't taking care of my hair as if it was wavy. Should I keep the torch? No. You can stay in the mines. <laughs> I hated using my hairdryer. Oh yeah, there's the Oh, I see the shadow is a lot different actually. I don't think that would be enough for me to notice I need the coal at the end of this. Oh yeah, I'm still a loot goblin. I'm very much still a loot goblin. I'm still in absolute turmoil of trying to like, be like, what can I take? I don't want to eat the thing because I want to keep the thing, but then I need this other thing and I don't want to throw that away. And <laughs> Just loot goblin. Two more floors. Can the duggies? The duggies can drop bombs as well, right? I can't help myself with these crates. I would apologize, but I'm not sorry. You can find some good stuff in them, to be fair. Ow. Ow. Okay. Geode. Uh, I don't really want to get rid of the wood, but we've got it on a farm. Mixed that can stay. I'll probably regret that, but I don't think I have anything else in my hot bar that I particularly want to get rid of. They can drop cherry bombs. I think I just got really unlucky. Well, I didn't get unlucky. I think it's quite a small chance, isn't it? It's not. It's not the biggest of chances. Borderlands three. He runs ahead to be a loot goblin. Oh no. I think my problem in games isn't necessarily always the like... If I'm playing like with other people, it's not necessarily the sharing of loot. It's like, I'll run off, get distracted by loot and then die. <laughs> Have I already seen a ladder or am I just being dumb? Or am I just having a really bad floor? I think I'm just having a bad floor. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm low on energy. Let's change that. I am also making sure to pick up all of the fibre because obviously tea saplings. I keep walking just out of range of um, like being able to pick stuff up without a ring as well, without like any kind of magnetism. Chewing stick and a yam. Oh, they can drop the yam. I forgot about that. Got killed looting once or twice so you can relate. Yeah, it's it's just one of those things like see see the loot forget everything else can't help it i am who i am you all know this about me you can all come into a stream pretty much guaranteeing that that will be my behavior stressed because you're training a new dog for a dog training group Mentoring three new members and their dogs. Oh my god, that does sound stressful. You've got this. I used to love, um, like, training dogs. There we go. Our first copper smelting. It's official. It is official. Right, do we think we can make it down a few more floors tonight? Probably not with the energy that we have. Alright. Mm, is there anything I need to bring home? I think I'm going to take these is there some things i'm just gonna leave up here uh i thought i already picked up my hoe i did not retaining soil maybe some things do have to stay here then i'll leave the sword for now it was the fiber i wanted to take there we go how far am I with 200 days? Recording is finished. I'm currently scripting. I think I'm on... What am I on? I'm... I think I'm like 15 or so days... 15 or 16 days into scripting. That's out of 112. I will clearly... Because obviously I do a full year. Um, These things do take me time. I mean, today... I got a lot less done than I wanted to because I had to run some errands and then... Needed a nap. Tomorrow should be better. 
chess anywhere mod see there's some there's some mods where i'm like borderline too scared to try them as a loot goblin because i don't want to like get to a point where i don't want to go back so, so things like the the bigger backpacks um <laughs> And stuff like that like um, i don't i don't want to try them because i'm like worried about being like oh no i can't do without this anymore okay we used the retaining soil you're a combat combat goblin all the different types of goblin i love it oh we've got our scarecrow recipe and fertilizer i'm not going to use the fertilizer right now actually a couple of hundred gold i'll take it You went swimming and you had to go fast to get to the stream in time. Oh my god, I appreciate it. Is that ready? No, it's still got another day. Gonna get 10 slimes maybe today. That's for the well. Not fussed about that. Wow, retaining soil retained very much water. <laughs> AKA literally none. Not even a little bit. You're in episode 9 of One Life, you can't wait to watch Messed Up Stardew. They're two very different vibes. <laughs> very different vibes. I'm so glad, um... I can't remember who pointed out the Archipelago mod to me. It might have been me that said it for the first time. But, uh, yeah, freaking incredible. 50 wood okay so i need a little bit more wood i need i need to get a uh scarecrow down asap gonna suck not knowing the exact range but you know we will do our best yes i love it when people are also watching whilst playing there's our advancement thing i need to go and grab our copper not that it gives us anything build a coop not yet not yet in time Line up with the door, yes. Not that that matters too much. I think is everything going to be in range there. Oh, I'm so scared. It's going to have to do. <laughs> Don't overthink it. Just, just go for it. Way overthinking it. I missed the traveling car yesterday. I completely forgot because I don't have the reminder. Everything should be covered, okay. We'll have to um cross our fingers. Right, how's the luck looking today? We are looking at extra luck. Okay, well we can't not go to the mines, right? <sighs> Only problem is I don't really have much in the way of food. I could use the rest of the parsnips. I shouldn't use the rest of the parsnips. I'll keep a couple of parsnips. Like a few parsnips. I don't really want to use these either. Oh, the leeks give you so much energy, though. Fine. I'll use some leeks. First one you're catching? Thank you so much. Welcome, welcome. Appreciate. You always miss the traveling car. I, I, I heavily rely on the UAM for sweet reminder. She's over she, I mean, she is overpriced, but like... She can get stuff early. You meant unpopular. I mean, makes sense. She, she does, she is often overpriced, but there's stuff that she has that like, you know, I want to be able to get stuff earlier. Get another copper bar smelting. Our first copper. Gonna need our sword. So if I go in, right, I'm going to eat the field snacks first. Overrated. I guess you meant overrated. Right, that would do. Sweet gem seeds. The pig is very cute. Got to pet the pig, right? I, I do often forget to pet the pig, but like... Ooh. Ooh. Gonna need to know- actually, I'm not even close to making enough money for that thing yet. I was trying to think of, like, mushroom or bat cave. When we get to that point, I'll put a poll out for it. In the stream, obviously. It's 
So you're saying I got extra luck, but where is the ladder? Well, let's get the doggy then. I'm trying to like ugh, move around so it doesn't hurt me. Okay, crit. I'll take a crit. Oh, there it is. There we go. Do I ever fall into muscle memory with new runs? For example, not shipping things because I'm used to the trashy merchant. Um, it depends. So like, obviously, the thing that helps when it comes to stuff like the trashy merchant is because I generally, for the most part, only stream it at a certain day and time. My head will be in that space for that day and time. If that makes sense. So when I'm doing other things, it's fine. What I do tend to find is that half the time I will forget whether or not I have done a thing in that save. For example, like, oh, I could have sworn I remember buying this particular item, but actually I haven't. It was another save. If that makes sense. You aim for sweet, just ADHD accessibility. It's starting to feel that way now. I'm just like, oh, I'm really feeling the effects of my brain in vanilla so far. Why am I killing those things? I've literally got a ladder right there. Catching a life the first time. Appreciate you being here. I'm ignoring the grubs at the moment. Simply because I don't feel like um, I can kill them quick enough. For the most part. Especially when there's multiple together. I don't trust that I can do it. There's copper down there, but I'm just going to go for the ladder today. And yes, but welcome to everyone who's in a stream for the first time. Appreciate that, Leah. It means a lot that you're all here. That rhymed. <laughs> Excuse me while I stare at my hotbar to decide on what I want to get rid of for an earth crystal. Big sad. Oh no, the coal. I need the coal as well. What am I going to do? Oh no, what am I going to do? Uh, I don't really want to get rid of the mix seeds. I'm going to have to, aren't I? Bug meat. Probably the bug meat. Like, it takes me so long to kill these bugs. I'm gonna not yet. Monster thingy. This is true. But I feel like eventually we're gonna get through a fair amount of bugs anyway. Oh no, Jody. That is painful. I've been there. I had it. I think we had it once in, um... It was in a trashy merchant stream, right? Where there was, like... I got one crop from the merchant and I had to then put it in the seed maker to be able to actually get the crop because I'm not allowed to buy the seeds and it turned into mixed seeds. That was like the one time we said, okay, maybe let's reset the day. I don't usually like resetting days, you know, in general. How far are we? How far into the year are we? Literally six days. <gasps> okay, that was kind of sad. I just revealing that crab under that rock. A little scared face. I've never actually broke it with my pickaxe before. I didn't know that was the thing that we could do. Happened to you twice? Oof. I get it like a lot when I'm putting loads of ancient fruit in, but I've, I rarely ever get it like, oh, this is my first one. And then it turns into, <laughs> turns into mixed seeds because ouch. Getting mixed. Yeah, it's, the game is truly trolling you at that point. Go away, bug. They're so, like, frustrating to kill. Where? Okay. I was about to say, where's the ladder? There it is. Ah, oh, spiral floor. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Get me out of there. Okay, this is so much better. Get rid of this rubbish. See, with the wooden club, I'd be more inclined to want to kill the bugs now, because it's easier. Uh, let's get more copper going. Don't carry the copper. Oh yeah, leave the hoe behind as well. We don't need to bring that. Not your first one. Yeah, that, that would hurt. See now. So much easier. One shot. You just started a new save. It's a good feeling. New farm is a good feeling. I will take a random mushroom. That'll be good for potentially the community center. Wait, that was meant to be the community center cutscene today, right? We'll do it tomorrow now. It was a good luck day. I feel like it was worth the extra day. I'm going to regret this now, aren't I? I think I'm going to regret this. 
Retaining soil. Uh, I'm gonna leave that. I don't think I've ever just like... Ooh. Is the forest sword better? 8 to 18 damage. 9 to 16. Okay, the, the that's better. However, I'm gonna keep the forest sword to sell to the Adventurers Guild because it's like decent money, isn't it? Loads of grubs on this one. See, this is our chance for the ancient seed. Watch me not see it because it is dark. Rice shoot, I'm going to ignore because we've got some already. I'm worried that like, what if I just can't see it? Nah, surely, surely it's okay. It's fine. I believe that there is not an ancient seed on the ground. Let's hope. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if there is. Oh my god, I'm going to be so upset. Save for your old self, save for your new self. Oh, I like that. I like that little sentiment. I'm going to go for those crates up there. Should I? No. I've got a full inventory, but you're not going to stop me. <laughs> Don't. Damn it. Okay. Never mind. Right, definitely not an ancient seed. That went pretty well. Right, the cave carrots are my- oh, This is another wooden club. What's with- <laughs> So many carrots! Hello? Not seven cave carrots. Um, I think... The slime. There's not really anything else I want to- leave behind i'm gonna leave the wooden club though yep the wind <laughs> eight cave carrots okay i stumbled upon a pantry the dwarf's safekeeping for cave carrots is here and i've just stolen all of it right let's put it all away good grief Okay, so in that case, I'm going to take the cave carrots and leave the leak here because now I've actually got a decent supply of food here. That is not what I was expecting. <laughs> Doing the levels without the glow ring is torture. It is kind of painful, I won't lie. Amethyst. Oops. Have I done all the slime jet? Three. Okay, never mind. I think um, I'm going to have to go for some earlier floors for that, aren't I? No idea where you're up. That's the problem is like sometimes you'll revisit an old save and be like, what was I doing here? That's a struggle at times. But I think we're going to make this our last day because... These streams are obviously going to be a little bit shorter in the interest of like my literal real life energy with the amount of them that we're doing. So I said it was like, I basically had it planned that I wanted to have these streams be one to two hours a day. We've done a good couple of hours. Um, I just, because I've literally, I've been having so much fun. I just realized what the time is. Why did I leave? Why did I do that? I did not mean... Let's try again. I guess we can put more copper in now. Why did I just do that? Hello? Try again. <laughs> just go down to... Okay. It's fine. I think the um this floor sympathizes with me a little bit. Concern they post another teaser an hour ago. Wait, okay. We'll have a look at that just before. Is it on... um? X slash Twitter, or if so, we'll we'll have a look at it because I think that'll be a good way to to end. Because I did not know, well, obviously I didn't know that we've been here. Yes, bomb. Give me that. It's on Twitter. Okay, I'll have a look. Um. We'll have a look together. 
as soon as I finish this day. I'm very excited to see it. I don't know what, what to expect, really. What type of music should you tell Sam to play? This is a struggle. I like... I like the... I think the only one I don't like is the rock one, actually. Thinking about it. All the, all the other three I really like. The songs. The, um... The, the honky tonk. Maybe you were saving to build something. That makes sense. Let's go get the coal before we hit floor 30. Eh. I'm going to ignore the topaz. Uh, should I? I mean, I need it for the mining level. No, it's 10 p.m. I've got to try and get here and get up to bed again. Honky Tonk Country Music. That's the one. I like that one. Speculations for 1.6. I have none. I'm. This is one of those up. Oh, no, you're kidding me. <laughs> This is one of those updates where I'm just kind of happy to be here because I missed all the hype from 1.5. I didn't get into it until obviously like a year after 1.5 happened. So was it like a year? I think it was like a year. Yeah, a good year after 1.5. So this time I'm just like, I'm happy to be here when it's all happening. <gasps> Dwarf scroll. Get rid of the sap. So n no speculations, no opinions, no nothing. Just excited to see any of it. And plus, like, when it comes to things like updates, I don't like generally having a huge amount of, like, expectations on it because it avoids disappointment that way. I just want to, like, see it and enjoy it, you know? Come on, two more monsters. Actually, it probably won't be two. It'll probably also be a Dougie... No, it wasn't. Uh, what am I going to get rid of? For a cherry bomb. Should I just... Oh, it's one cherry bomb. Oh no, am I going to make it to bed? I think I am just about going to make it. I was just thinking to myself like, oh no, what about like... The monsters and stuff? <laughs> it's not the one life challenge. There aren't going to be a load of monsters. It's going to be fine. Uh, let's take this with us and the geodes to put back at home. Give Morris money to build. <laughs> Can you imagine just like Morris, uh, M Morris's own boat, essentially. Don't forget the hoe. Oh, I don't want to go back for it now because I don't want to like, <laughs> uh, I don't want to pass out. <laughs> I don't want to lose 60 gold. I'm going to plant these seeds and probably not going to water them. I do think that, yeah, it's looking like with the parrot, the 1.6 is going to give a bit more incentive for Joja runs. I'll water them tomorrow. It's just one less thing to do. Okay. There we go. We're level one combat, level two mining, and that's it. When am I going to stream this again? So the next time I'll be live with this is Sunday. Um, what I'm probably going to try and do is like put up like a couple of streams at a time just so that I'm not like flooding because I'm, I'm very aware that when you try to post loads of streams at once it can very much like flood the sub box with like just a string of future stuff so I don't I don't want to spam it too much Saturday is my my day off streaming that is because the one life challenge is public that day um i need to log in i have not logged into x.com twitter still says twitter i haven't logged in on this computer in a long time right on sand ape so let me have a look oh Okay, okay. Let me... Bear with me. Let me figure out trying to get this up on my screen. It will just take me a second. Um, I need to get the window up and stuff so we can look at it.
So basically, right. You guys should be able to see that now. Look at that. So ton of progress on 1.6 last month. Self-imposed extreme crunch mode. Nose to the grindstone raw nose mode. <laughs> Here's one of the many additions to 1.6, keeping mostly everything secret. Big chest stores almost twice as much as a regular chest. A win for loot goblins everywhere. <laughs> Can't believe it's going to be as big of an update as it is. I, I don't think he originally knew it was going to be this either. Stone chest. Oh my god, look at the big stone chest as well. You're right, it is different, isn't it? Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And... This is, I think the, the the other thing that's nice is like, oh, look at the little, yeah, right. Look at the little legs on the stone chest. The, um, the amount of like chest just kind of being everywhere. Oh, it says almost twice as much. You're right. What's the almost? Where does it stop? Is it two rows and not three? I mean, still, that's still a win, but like, maybe this will stop me having to have like loads of chest, you know, it, we can reduce the amount of chests we have, so it look a bit more organised, right? And this is going to work so much better with the um, with the workbench, isn't it? Because obviously you can only put like a certain amount of chests around the thing. So now we can fit in way more different crafting materials. How many rest? How many rows do chests have? They usually have three. So if they if he's saying almost almost twice as much, almost twice as much to me would say there would be five rows and not six because it says almost so it's not six but to me four isn't almost double the stone chest looks it's the little legs the little legs are adorable for some reason looking at the big chest for me it looks in my head i'm like okay what if it also takes gold will it take more floor space i doubt it at least like looking at the footprint of it i doubt it the comments are kind of funny. Hang on. <laughs> Finally, I won't need two million chests. Nope, only one million. <laughs> Excuse me? The colour... The, yeah. Golden lines instead of silver. It's it really cool. I think it's going to look good as well when we can... Um, I'm assuming we can also colour code these as well. Looks like a tool next to the chest, maybe a scythe. Oh, there is something there, isn't there? I wonder what it is. I mean, it could be the scythe. How much do I reckon will be live for? I'm literally just about to end. I just wanted to make this the last thing we looked at because Eric kindly alerted us to a new post. So I thought, oh, let's look at it together because we've been here. We haven't seen it. But anyway, um, if you guys enjoyed the stream today, please do hit the like button. It does help us out a lot. It's a good free way to support the channel thank you so much to all the new members and gift and memberships today thank you again to, thank you again to kotzi for the bubble tea set we're going to be starting sunday stream with a bubble tea i'll be here with a bubble tea i won't make it on stream because it'll take too long to do but i'll be here with a bubble tea and we can enjoy that whilst we work on our new perfection save i've had so much fun guys and thank you everyone who has also like voted on things like the map and um help me pick like the pet and our spouse that we're gonna go for and all the paths and stuff it's been so much fun uh unless you're a blueberry uh, blueberry and cranberry and you've got the video already the one live video will be out tomorrow so that is my one day off streaming <laughs> and i'll be live again on sunday i'll post a few streams at a time so i don't flood your feed with all the stream posts but i will see you guys then bye